accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity. Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Tracking gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying the first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. I'm here with a, a Halo super fan. I, I'm told that you know your Halo stuff. Uh, that's a stretch, but <laughs> I enjoy the game. Right. Have you uh, studied up on this one yet? Uh, no, I've been keeping myself really fresh for it so that I'm going into it as virgin as possible and be right. surprised. The, uh, long time Halo You've been on Halo for a while, or are you kind of coming fresh into the stick? Oh yeah, ever since Xbox, the first Xbox. Oh, that was that actually was the first one. I that's the only one I played through, all the way to the end. What happened after that? Oh my God! Uh -huh. Well, there's like a stretch into like uh, multiple territories. They did uh, Reach. It's like followed a whole other team, ODST, which followed like a separate trooper. Um, uh, the the timeline is gigantic for how uh, limited you think the universe would be. But and, and Halo is weird because it's one of those things that it see we've been with it for so long. It, it just, it's just this kind of second nature, but at the same time, like you said, it's huge. Like, so far, what's been the favorite of yours? Oh, two. Why is that? Because uh, that was one of those times that it felt like a game really revolutionized a tired genre. Like, you know, first-person shooters really got a kick in the butt with um, GoldenEye. Mm. And that sort of became, like, the bar. And games like Halo and uh, Soldier of Fortune and Counter-Strike and everything kind of came out and kicked the bar up a little bit. But it felt like when Halo 2 came out, um, it really just was the kick in the teeth that games needed like dual wielding the the implementation of more vehicles in the battlefield like you know and i mean speaking of that it sort of feels like it set uh, the path open for games like call of duty especially battlefield to be more versatile with their gameplay as opposed to just run and gun absolutely and, and the open up that scope of, of this is what this can be mm -hmm. instead of being this one rail shooter basically you know, going through corridors with like the old Doom style. Now we get this place where people can 
shoot me over and over again from across the map. And not that I'm bitter about that at all. You do the multiplayer? Oh, yeah. And so I hate you, too. Um, <laughs> Halo 4, did you do that one? Oh, yeah. What would you think of that one? Um, I dug it. It. Uh, I love the introduction of, of Forge being uh, a lot more of like an integral piece to it that made it a lot more open to where when you were when you're bored of just you know doing the run around and blow each other up um you could make uh any sort of map you wanted and then like would we'd get bored and we'd build these like ridiculous maps to do what we call like skeet shooting where you'd build like a ramp for someone to shoot off of on a four-wheeler and try to nail them with a rocket launcher or then we do rocket launcher baseball where you have the grab hammer and you have someone shoot a rocket at you try it's just awesome you can't do that in anything else. So, new forge, new ideas, new. I, I hear they've got some revamps in there. So let's just kind of make that kind of fun. If I, me, I, I've been out of it for a while. Sell me on that game. Um. Well, it's definitely uh, something that looks like it's really kicking the door open further for next for for new gen. Um, a lot of stuff that's come out has been uh, multi-platform, so stuff feels like it's kind of had that restriction on it. And this is one of the first games to really be specifically made for the engine that the Xbox One is pushing. So you have that, you have the new uh, Rec system, which uh, sort of takes um, what Call of Duty was doing recently and um, just pumps it full of steroids. Uh, man. It's just it's Halo. I don't even know what else you could have to say about it. It's a it's a, a staple in video games now. It, it's you know Microsoft's Mario. Don't you no, start. It's not. Don't you start. <laughs> don't you start. Just making sure. I admire your dedication, Spartan. Push forward, Osiris. Ramp on the right. Alright. 